place that Under Armour started as a temperature regulation company. We wanted to keep athletes cool and dry in the summer and warm and dry in the colder weather of the winter. Cold Gear was a natural extension of our heat gear product and helped athletes compete in any condition, particularly in this case with Cold Gear when it's cold outside. There's a real balance between keeping warm, keeping dry, and not getting too hot and not getting too overwhelmed by the fabric. So Cold Gear just has that right amount of balance. The next thing the product has to do, the next thing this fabric has to do is it has to keep you warm. So we brush the back of the fabric so it's got just the right amount of brushness so that it can hold a nice coating of air around your body that heats up with your body heat, keeps you warm. But not so much so that you overheat. It not only keeps you warm, it also keeps you dry by moving moisture that, that as you sweat and work out, moves that moisture out to the outside of the garment where it can dry very quickly. You're not going to be able to stay warm unless you can stay dry too when you're working out. Cold Gear fabric is built with a lot of stretch. Remember, athletes are in motion. You need to be able to move. So whether you're in a fitted silhouette or a compression fabric, you want to make sure that garment can really move with you as you start to move. So we offer two different fits. If you're choosing compression, you're choosing it because you know that not only by keeping warm and dry, you can also wear cold gear and it can reduce fatigue, helps your muscles, and it helps your stamina as you compete. But not every athlete likes the squeeze of compression. So we also offer cold gear in a fitted silhouette. It stays nice and close to the body so that the fabric can work on your moisture, keeping you dry, but not so tight that you feel uncomfortable. It's not just U.S. athletes. Athletes globally choose cold gear as their base layer when they're performing outside in cold weather. 